Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to Daily Tips with Monica. I appreciate you guys' love and I appreciate you guys' support. Um, it's happy Tuesday. I know I missed yesterday. I'm so sorry. I just needed a little break to, to refresh, 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 but I'm back, guys. Y'all know sometimes you just have to take a break to get your mind together and get yourself in a different space, so that's what I did. So thank you guys so much for just being patient with me still coming and supporting me. Um, make sure, guys, if you have not hit that like button, hit that like button. If you want to share me out, share me out. Share me out to all different platforms. I do appreciate you guys. Um, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about um, on um, the reason why money can't buy you happiness. Um, um, have you ever, uh, when they say money can buy you, can money buy you happiness or it can't? Money can buy happiness, but only to a certain amount. We can call this a baseline level of happiness. When you reach a certain financial level in life, um, let's allow me one moment. And uh, you get to that certain level in life, and you you're proud of yourself. You see how far you have grown, and um, and then once you reach that level in your income, and uh, you reach that level in your income bracket, that is reach. Y'all excuse them; they on the phone. Um it does reduce some of your happiness what this means is that money is only a part of what makes us happy if we're really unhappy to our core if we're really unhappy to our core in the pain, then there are limits to how happy money can make us so one of the reasons why money can't buy us happiness or at least more happiness above that baseline First of all, guys, we need to take a step back and think, what exactly is happiness anyway? Is it a car, a house, or a big screen TV? Um, when you're buying a new car or a new house or a big new TV, over time, it, over time, it'll just be another car. It'll be your house, and it'll be just another TV. That bright, shiny newness eventually wears off, and then you're back at where you are, or or you want more of it. So we don't need a definite, a dictionary definition of happiness. Happiness, it is. Just allow me a moment. Of the noise in the background. So, like I was saying, we don't need a dictionary to define our happiness, to define what happiness is. But we do know it is a feeling. If someone asks you if you're happy, you use and give them an answer right away. We often use happiness to describe a range of positive emotions, including joy, pride, contentment, and gratitude. But to me, happiness is contentment. You're content with what you do have in your life. And Jayla, do you want me to make you hang up? Stop all this holler. Um, excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. So true, authentic, genuine happiness is about relationships, self-development, and experiences. Here are some tips. There are proven ways to increase your happiness and how money can buy your happiness. The first thing is true happiness comes from the inside. 
Uh, have y'all ever heard, heard of Maslow's hierarchy of human needs? It represents our human needs. That means um the things that we need ne that are necessary to build upon like um our psychological like breathing food water sex our safety security of body employment resources morality a family love belonging friendship family sexual intimacy esteem Self-esteem, confidence, achievement, respect for others, and respect by others, self-actualization, morality, creativity, spontaneity, problem solving, lack of prejudices, acceptance of facts. Those things money can cannot help you purchase. Those things and, and, and we know that once you those are uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Those things right there that I just said, money simply can't buy those things. Having a, a sense of love and belonging, self-esteem and self-actualization, if you do try to buy them, they're hollow and mean. The bottom of the hierarchy supplies our external needs, which money can buy, then moves up to the intrinsic need of the heart, mind, and soul. So as you go up to the hierarchy, the hierarchy, the less money will help you. So those um that those things like psychological safety, love, belonging, esteem. And self actualization Look up Maslow's <coughs> Rocky hierarchy of needs, and this what what it does it shows you those things that actually people need to feel to me to feel whole and to build happiness. You need to breathe to be alive. You need food and water to live. Do you need sex? Well, yeah, 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 I'm going to leave that alone. Sleep? Yes, we need sleep. And then it, as the, everything moves up, the less money going to buy. You can't buy sleep. You can buy sex. Yes, you can buy sex. But is it, is it going to be that fulfilling sex? That sex of love? And can you buy friendship and family? Yes, you probably can give people stuff to be your friend. But is it a meaningful friendship? Honestly. I don't I don't I don't want one thing about me. I'm a true genuine person. And I I know money don't make me. And when I'm in a friendship or relationship I want to add value to that person's life as much as they add value to mine. So we're going to build each other up. We're going to we're going to have happiness within ourselves and then as together as coming as one, we're going to make we're going to be happy. But we're not going to allow money to dictate our happiness. So guys, look up Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Um, it, 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 it really put things in perspective for you. The second thing is money can't buy authentic relationships. Let me tell you, at the end of the day, even wealthy people crave authentic human connections. Time and time again, we see examples of rich people being miserable. Think about all the stuff that's been going on and all the stuff that's going on in our world today and how they been rich people have been committing suicide. Because you know what? They're not happy in their love lives, family lives, and oftentimes in their careers. Think about your closest friends, the ones you turn to when you're going through a challenging time. 
You might be sad, anxious, or depressed. A friend can make you smile or laugh. They can turn your mood from gloomy to sunny. Money doesn't buy that. Your relationship with your spouse also has an impact on your happiness. We probably all have friends who are enjoy thriving marriages with lesser money in their bank accounts. While other marriages are filled with arguments and lack of love and trust despite millions in the bank. Having a lot of money doesn't mean you'll have a lot of authentic, fulfilling relationships in your life. So make sure those people that you put in your life are really, uh, uh, and friendships and people you're in a relationship, make sure they are authentic. Make sure they ain't looking for you as a combo or trying to take advantage of you. They don't want nothing from you. They just want you. They want, they want your friendship. They want to show you love. You and they'll tell you, I don't want your money. I want you. I want you to be your authentic self. You can be yourself with me. You don't have to feel like, hey, if I give you money, then you'll stay with me. What if I say, if you just give me that loyalty, give me that kindness? Give me that security. Then your money don't mean nothing to me. Because if you are self, if you are kind of like self-independent and you are self-made, the money don't impress you. So when see some people, when they meet men or women or somebody that got a little money, they see the dollar signs in the eyes. I gotta tell y'all the dollar signs in your eye. They see them dollar sign down. That's all they think about. Oh, he got some money, honey. Oh, she got some money. Yes, I found somebody with some money. But are you really getting to, are they really getting to know you or as you as the individual person? Or are they getting to know your money and what you can do for them? They're not really being a friend. The only time they want, want to be friendly with you when you're giving them something. But when you're feeling sad and when you're feeling anxious or depressed, can you call that person? Can you call that person and be and, and they make you make you smile and laugh? Or, or do they just they don't have time to talk? Only when time they have talking when they want something from you. Have those authentic relationships with people that be honest, they don't seek nothing from you but you. That means you who you are, getting to know you and what you are about. That's the type of person I am. I don't want nothing from nobody. Me, if if, if you choose to be a blessing to me, I appreciate it. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But one thing about Monica. I know people work hard for everything they have. And I ain't down with using nobody. I ain't down with using nobody, mooching off nobody, and and and, and, and uh, it's having an expectation for someone else's money or mistreat people because they ain't giving me what they money that they don't work hard for. That's not me. I just, me, I'm the type of person is, if I want to be your friend, I'm going to be your friend. And I'm not going to have an expectation of you giving me something. I want to be authentic with you. And I want you to be authentic with me. Oh, Lord. Jesus. The third thing is be grateful for what you do have. Your attitude towards money does count. It does. It is important to have a healthy relationship with your money. If you stick to that belief that money directly determines happiness, you can get stuck in a cycle of constantly wanting to accumulate more. More money, more stuff, but never feeling like it's enough. That goes to the, uh, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. So, how do you develop the right attitude towards money? First, practice gratitude. The benefits of gratitude are well documented. A five-minute gratitude journey practice can increase your long-term happiness. The actual gratitude produced during those five minutes is small, but the emotions of gratitude felt during those five minutes are enough to trigger a grateful mood. Focus on what you do have in life, then complain about what you don't have, then complain about the things you don't have. When you focus on the things like your relationships, health, and overall life, you may realize your life is already rich enough. Second, don't make comparisons to others. If you see somebody else with a fancy car, it's easy to want the same thing, but don't do that. That will only put you in a mindset that you don't have enough or you're not good enough. It can conjure up feelings. You. So as I was saying, guys, I'm sorry about all these interruptions, but. Well, as I was saying, don't feel compare yourself to other people. If someone has something that you don't have, don't automatically want the same thing. Don't do that because it'll have you in that mindset of you not you don't have enough or you aren't good enough. It can conjure up those feelings of depression and jealousy. But you have to go back to that gratitude tip. This is a good time to focus on what you already have. Take some time to write handwritten notes and tell other people how awesome they are. Or give back to your local community. Spend your time and energy on experiencing instead of stuff. Focus on connecting with your community, your friends, and nature, and things like that. So, and doing so will help you create memories that last a lifetime. So what this says is be grateful for what do you have. Change your attitude towards your money. Have a healthy relationship with your money. Don't go out there spending like, I'm because such and such, they got this, I'm going to get that. And then, you know, it's like, I got to make more money. I got to make more money. I got to have, I got to have, I got to have more stuff. But you, you, you're you not putting the value, you're putting the value in the stuff that don't mean nothing instead of putting in value in yourself. Putting no values in those that relationship that you want. Putting that value in those friendships that you want. Putting those values in if you want to put value in the community, do that. But look, don't put place your value on your money. That's what I'm going to tell you. Don't put your value in your money. Because that's what people will value you as. Just money. They won't see the good hearted person that you are. They won't see how you want love just like somebody else won't love. They won't see how... The, the great person that you really are and how you want the same things that they want. But see, if only th if, if, if you feel like the only thing you're valuable is, value is, is your money, then that's the only thing people will value you for, is your money. And then when you don't give them what they ask for, they're going to turn on you. And then you don't have that friendship no more. You don't have those relationships no more. So don't put your value in those worldly things like a TV, a car, and offering as soon as you, you, you just start throwing money at stuff. Stop throwing money at stuff. Throw yourself at stuff. Because let me tell you something. A real individual, and like we were talking about, a real authentic individual, they ain't going to be impressed by your money. They're going to be impressed by who you present yourself to be.
that's who a per yes yes it's yes it's great to have a woman that got a little money it's great to have a man that knows how to be a provider knows how to to have a little money it's great to have that it's okay with that but let me tell you something so oh i i my man got to have money and this and this and this and this and that but let me tell you something me monica and you judge me if you want to yes a man a, a, a man's supposed to have money if he's a hard working man but don't value that man for his money value that man for the man that he is and he's presenting himself to be because let me tell you something it's some men out there that throw money at situation could be sitting up here cheat you stay with this man because he has money but he's cheating on you and he's disrespectful towards you and he's putting his hands on you and he's like well baby i'm sorry but here you are two three thousand dollars that's not giving you you're still miserable after you spent the money you're still miserable you're still miserable you still miserable after you don't spend all this man money. You still miserable because guess what? He he ain't because that money ain't giving him that gratification that you really want. That gratification that any person would really want out of a relationship, friendship. You want real real stuff. You want love. You want honor. You want respect. You want somebody that will treat you right. And that's in friendship, relationship, family members, or whatever. Money cannot buy happiness. Know that. But what you put, but what you do with the money makes a lot of difference. Ooh, let me tell y'all something, man. Me, myself, man, I rather. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, why gain the whole world? When I'm and lose your soul. So, if you out here, you got all this money, and you have lost your soul to the money, because that's all you think that you have. You look at yourself. Look at those valuable things. Look at those people that love you. Don't want nothing but the best for you. And you think that's only thing you're worth is your money. Have more respect and love for yourself than that. Have more respect and love for yourself than that. Your money doesn't have any value to your life and your character. It doesn't. Because some people ain't, ain't, let me be honest, some people just ain't, some people is just like money, okay, you, like some people, okay, you have money, you rich, you whatever. But, how are you as an individual person? How do you treat how do you treat your women when you know how do you treat people when you're in a relationship with them? That what matters. How people treat you when you're being in in, in the same way around. When you're being good to them and you're giving them, you know, you you just being authentic yourself and you might spend a little money on them. Is they with you? Ask yourself, is they rich you with you for your money or are they with you for or oh, they really do love you because if I'm gonna tell you something, you have to disciple the different. You have to you and you know the pattern of someone who is actually taking advantage of you. If every time that you want you uh and I know I'm off subject or whatever, but every time you uh they ask you for something, you say no, they get mad and they um Jamal, get them all up. Get them up. Get them up. Every time you uh you say no or you say let me uh what if, what about if I you know give you a couple days later or whatever and they sit up here and they get mad and they start mistreating you, start cussing you out, and like they don't have time for that for you or treat you, you know, or do mean things to you because you don't want oh i don't want to be with you oh i don't want to give you no sex because you don't want to give me none of your money that, that's a person that really don't truly authentically love you and i'm gonna be real a person that loves you if you say well i'm not able to give they ain't gonna be mad they'll be like well that's okay 
because they feel because they, they know ain't nobody obligated to give you nothing. Let me okay, back to the tips. The fourth thing is you're living in a material world. Most of us guys, we we live, we want most of us earn money so that we can buy the material things we like. And some of us earn money to buy more material things. Bigger cars, homes, um, the latest iPhone, the latest Gucci bag. They now these things may make you happier for a few days. But and it will lead us to wanting more. What's important here is how we spend our money. And science shows that, you know, how much money you have, but it's not about how much money you have, it's about how you spend it. And studies shows a strong correlation between altruism and happy. Donating can help you find the meaning in life. But you don't have to have large amounts of, ha of cash to make a difference. You can just buy a cup of coffee for the person in line behind you or sponsor a friend that is raising money for a charity. Even buying a $10 gift card and surprising someone at work will make a difference in how you feel. Spending money on experiences has been shown to increase happiness as well. While buying more stuff just add to the clutter in your life and can get lost or broken experience create memory experiences create memories and connections that can last for a lifetime you can travel learn a new meal to take a cooking class so what this saying is guys um don't be so materialistic to where it's just oh i want this and i'm buying this and i'm the newest this and the newest that or this like that it's okay to give to charity it's okay to buy that coffee for the person it's uh, it's okay to make some one day and say hey girl i'm gonna buy you lunch that person you know buy stuff buy like i said while you're buying more stuff all it does is adding more clutter in your life and once it get lost or broken oh you got to go buy another one but bigger and better but what about those memories that you want to create what about those connections that you want for a lifetime make sure that you are putting your money towards meaningful things and not those materialistic things okay guys the uh, fifth thing is, it's the little things in life that matter. What brings you joy? Think about it now, y'all. What brings you joy? What brings a smile to your face? It's different for each of us on this premiere. Maybe a hike in the woods. It might be the laugh of a baby or a hug or watching a butterfly. It could be a friendly hello from the barista at, or the sleeping in or just sleeping in like sleeping in for the day money doesn't have anything to do with that however these are the little things that life that matters. the thing that brings us happiness happiness is found in the littlest things the small act of kindness or small gestures non-material things they say kindness is free, and it is. Being kind to somebody is free. So you can sprinkle that everywhere. So you can go ahead and smash someone a genuine smile, compliment someone on their nice outfit or their nice hairdo, and see how you feel. So guys, the little things in life that matter. The things that bring you joy. I'm going to tell you what brings me joy. What brings me joy every day is waking up, being a mama to my kids, and knowing that even though I may not be where I want to be in life, but waking up every day knowing that I'm somebody's mama and they love me 
unconditionally. Love me in spite of my mess. <laughs> and just, I, they bring me so much joy. Even though they get on my nerves, my kids bring me so much joy just to know that I'm a mama. Knowing that I'm taking care of these two beautiful kids. That brings me so much joy. It brings me joy to just sit on here, guys, and talk to you guys. It brings me so much joy. It really do. It brings me joy. It, it, it's a lot of things that brings me joy. It's it just a small thing. It don't even have to be anything materialistic. It brings me joy. I ain't gonna lie. Like before, I pick up my kids that hour and a half or just a long time to just do whatever I want to do, not buy anything, but just just sit at home and relax. That brings me joy. Talking on the phone with friends and um, the person I'm currently talking to right now. That brings me joy. That brings me joy. And then doing other things for other people. Helping someone that is in need. That brings me joy. So in life, it doesn't, money, money don't, Money don't bring those kind of uh, fulfillment. It doesn't. And you have to find your happiness in those small things like that. And like they say, being kind someone to someone is free. So you can sprinkle your kindness to everyone. Sprinkle that kindness in this world. That's what we need here on YouTube. We need some kindness. We need people to stop all the mess and get and get into some kindness. Go ahead and encourage someone. Tell them how great they do on their channel and how good they can, like baking with Charlene. How you know those truffles you made baking with Charlene was look so good, and I love your recipe. How um um. Joseph and Tramiel, they always funny. They always bring, make me laugh, put a smile on my face every morning. And just and them just being their authentic self and not trying to hide who they are, they just be who they are. Those are things in life in there. Those people that in your life that's not trying to take advantage of you, they're showing you the love and the support. It's up to you to accept it. And the 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 sixth thing is money can't buy time. Money can't buy time. Money can't buy time. Um They say time is our most precious commodity. And that's the number one excuse why people aren't doing more things that they love, like spending time with friends, dating, getting to know people, um, uh, taking walks, going to the beach, reaching a goal, going, uh, trying to lose weight. It's a lack of time. I don't think I don't think it ain't working though. You have to change to another one. I don't know what side I'm doing to my phone. Look, I'm trying to record, baby. Huh? If the volume is up, I don't know what y'all do to the phone. Let's sit down. So, what really is going on? Well, sometimes we get caught up in every, either working hard to save a book or working hard to earn a book to realize what really matters, our time. We're often focused more on getting more money, more money than buying more time. 
it is discovered that look, look, look. It is discovered that people with more money do not spend their time in more enjoyable ways on a day to day basis. People with more money tend to spend their time on more stressful activities such as working and commuting instead of enjoying activities. Those who are focused with saving every penny don't take the time to enjoy life. Rather than getting caught up on making or saving money, they focus on making more time for yourself to enjoy doing activities and seeing people who make you happy. And so, um, just know once you have your basics, like food, water, shelter, clothing, and the feeling of safety, then money won't buy you happy. It won't help you increase your baseline of happiness. It's up to you to build meaningful. Hold on, we're gonna get back into that. So, guys, um, money can't buy time. So make sure you are spending your time wisely and spending your time with things that are of value. Yes, you spend time at work because you know you have to work to provide, but don't let work and trying to make a dollar make you lack the time you need with your family, with your children, or building a relationship with someone. Give yourself time. Know that they, let me tell you one thing I learned. Let me tell you something, one thing I learned a long time ago. I learned this last year, something happened. And I was like, somebody passed away that I knew. And I know it, you know it got to happen, but one thing about it, you don't never want to miss out on time in your children's life or someone that you know, or doing the thing that you love to do. Because let me tell you something, that job that you're doing, if you quit that job today, they're gonna find somebody else to do that job. Even if you die, they once they put you in the grave, before you put you in the grave, they're gonna find somebody else to, to, to do your job. So, no matter how much money you make. And I know you, sometimes we just want to leave a legacy for our children, but don't spend so much time getting caught up on making a dime when you're missing out on your children and, and, and your life. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and recap. Um, the first thing is we talked about today is true happiness comes from the inside. Like I told you guys, look up Moss Law's hierarchy of human needs. Those human needs that is what we need to feel the well the the meaning of our life like psychological safety love belonging esteem and self actualization we can't buy those things they, those are characteristics that cannot be bought um the second thing is money can can't buy authentic relationships so um if you are in a, if you want a relationship with someone, offer them yourself. Don't offer them your money because they're not going to value you. They're going to value your money. And you know the ones that value you. It ain't the ones that they, 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 they sitting there telling you, hey, you know, I'm your friend. I'm, I love you for you. I don't care about your money. I don't care what, you know, they, I don't care what you got. But I want to get to know you for you. I want to love you for you. I want to be your friend to get to know you and those things. And, and we can kiki. Those are the friendships that you want. Those are the type of relationships you want. Those people that when you're feeling down, they'll listen to you and have conversations with you, with you and, and lift you up and not tear you down. And not get mad if you don't give them anything or don't have an expectation when you... Uh, if they do talk to you and they'll be so appreciative then they'll then they'll and just as well as you're appreciative of their relationship they are appreciative of your relationship as well your friendship or whatever you give their situation and then the third thing is be grateful for what you do have be grateful for those things that you have and i'm not talking about money because it don't determine your happiness. Be grateful for the things in life that money can't buy. 
like a relation, a good relation, happiness relationship. Be grateful for those uh, people in your life that 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 builds you up. Be grateful for um, be grateful for having God in your life. If you have a spiritual, like we all want to have that spiritual connection to God. Be grateful for that spiritual connection to God, because guess what? You don't have to buy that. So spend your time and energy on things that you can't buy. The fourth thing is you're living in a material world. So like they say, more money, more problems. So, and if you feel like you 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 just spending on, you got to have the next best thing, the next best things, because it makes you happy. It only makes you happier for a few days. Won't you spend that energy in making a difference? Like buying someone behind you in a cup, of, in front of you or behind you a cup of coffee, like I was saying. Buying someone lunch just to be nice, uh, complimenting someone, or giving giving someone a gift card. The uh, fifth thing is is the little things in life that matter. So those little things in life that brings you joy, that what makes you happy. And I told you guys those things that make me happy. Find happiness in the small things and those random acts of kindness that you do nothing materialistic try your best to be the sprinkle kindness everywhere you go and the last thing is money can't buy time spend your time on with people and things that matter like i told you guys Whatever job you're doing, it's always replaceable. They always, if you die today, they're going to find, if you could die or quit today, they will find someone that will take your place. So, um, make sure you guys are being careful with what you put your time into. Put your time into your family. Put your time building good relationships with people. Um, let me tell you something. Time can't be bought. Let me tell you something. That's the if there was somebody asking you it's time, that shouldn't be hard to give. All you have to do is just is allow yourself to give them time. Now they ain't asking you for money. They ain't asking you to give them nothing. All they ask you for is time. And they know, and, 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 and putting time in with your family should not be hard to do. Putting time in to build a relationship with someone should not be hard to do. Putting time in doing the things that you enjoy doing shouldn't be hard to do. Um, so, guys... Those are the tip, daily tips I have. Know this, guys, that, you know, it's up to you to build meaningful relationships. Always have a, always live your life in being grateful. Always do your best in enjoying living things in life. And start spending money, your money on experiences and other people rather than materialistic things. Um. That will make you have a more joyous life. Um, you, know, I'm gonna be honest. You know who people when people are taking advantage of you, and you know when people are being genuine, and you know when people just see you as dollar signs. Let me tell you. You know when people are seeing you as dollar signs. So just know that. Just know that you know, no matter what you are going through no matter what you're going through in life um know that it is some true genuine people that is for you not against you or not trying to use you up 
And then when they're done with you, you know, taking them, draining you dry, then they have nothing for you. It's really genuine people out here in this world that they don't want nothing from you but to love you. And you have to know that. You know when someone actually trying to love you and support you and want to be there for you instead of those people that's trying to use you up. So when when I always tell, I, I'm the type of person, I never offer them my, them my money. Always offer them yourself. Because if you offer them they yourself and they don't know you got any money, you'll know if you feel they vibe or not. So guys, those are the dating tips I have. I hope I didn't offend anybody. I hope I didn't offend anybody. If I did, I'm sorry, boo. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. But for the other part, where the end is just dead. Um, so um, those are the tips that I do have, guys. I appreciate you guys for coming. This may be a little lengthy, but I just want you guys to get it. Because it's so many people that take advantage of kind-hearted people. And some people feel like they have to offer them, offer people their money to, for them to build, be their friend or be in a relationship with them. You don't have to do that. You can offer them yourself. Okay, gentlemen. So y'all have to hear a bit of out of him. So guys, I am doing an interview with Tracy on um august let me look at the august the 28th at um 7 p.m central standard time 8 p.m eastern standard time then i'm doing an interview with get lit with mo on august the 27th at 7 p.m central standard time 8 p.m eastern standard time thank you guys so much for coming I do appreciate you guys for coming. I do appreciate you guys' support. And let me tell you something. Always offer people yourself. I can't reiterate that enough. Those people that love you and the people that really want to be a part of your life, they're going to be a part of your life. And they won't have and, and they won't have an expectation. All the expectation they want is they just want your loyalty. They want your kindness. They want you to be that person that you say that you are. Your money do not oppress them because guess what? Money, they know money don't make people. So guys, let me stop fussing at y'all. Let me stop. Let me let me get these kids in the bed. So thank you guys so much for coming. Um, I appreciate you you guys' love and I appreciate you guys' support. Um don't let anything or anyone steal your joy. If they didn't give it to you, they can't take it away. If you want to email me at mjjfamily2020 at gmail.com, you want me to speak about a topic. And if you want to uh, contact me on Instagram, that would be a great way, another great way of contacting me. Thank you guys so much for coming. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless each and every one of y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow.